Speedrunning, the art of completing a video game as quickly as possible, has become a widely recognised in the overall gaming space. A crucial aspect of speedrunning are the relentless grinds which often involve resetting hundreds or even thousands of times. However, it is not uncommon for me to see newer runners be overly eager to reset, even over minor mistakes potentially discounting paces they could have easily recovered from. Shorter speedruns by their nature tend to have higher reset rates. This can be attributed to the game's length or of major tricks that dramatically reduce the amount of time required to complete the game. While it's understandable to reset these types of runs, it's essential for both newer and experienced runners to finish their runs or do no resets, regardless of their skill level. This approach allows them to practice the entire game rather than focusing solely on the early game. In longer sphere on categories such as Spyro the Dragons 120%, the early levels like the Artisan's homeworld may seem relatively easy on the surface, it's not uncommon for me to see newer runners reset their runs in the early game, even when they still have an hour or more left in the run. This is often a mistake, as there will be significant time save in the later stages of the game, which could compensate for any early mistakes. Deo has an amazing approach, often being happy to just finish a run, even if it's not his personal best. He understands that during a long and relentless grind, it is easier to reset over nothing. Speedrunning can often feel like the definition of insanity and leave you questioning why you're still playing. At the end of the day, speedrunning is a hobby, and sometimes it's important to take a step back and realize that resetting constantly may not be the best approach and can damage your mental health. And not resetting, even if you're not absolutely the best, can provide valuable practice and help you improve in the long run. The key is to find the balance between pushing for personal best and being content with progress. Even if it's incremental, staying flexible and maintaining a healthy mindset can make the difference in your speedrunning journey. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and I think you'll like this video.